Well, hello everybody, and uh, thank you very much for coming to the museum this afternoon. This is a very special occasion. Uh, to be able to celebrate 100 years of the St. Ives Museum is testimony to the efforts of a wonderful team of volunteers, both past and present. Over that 100-year period, the museum has remained true to the original vision of Robert Walton Nance and the founders, maintaining the old Cornwall Society's motto to gather up the fragments before they be lost. And certainly, here in the museum, we have achieved that aim in a very practical sense. To celebrate the achievement of 100 years here in St Ives, the museum has created a town trail taking the message of the museum's existence and elements of our own town story out into the community. And I would like to thank my colleague Peter Garrett and his Town Trail volunteer team of Dee, Keith and Jane and Nicola publicly for the big effort employed in creating such a brilliantly conceived idea and delivering a finished experience for our visitors to enjoy. In a moment or two, Peter will give us the background detail to the town trail. However, first, I'd like to call on St Ives Town Mayor, Johnny Wells, to say a few words. Johnny. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the museum. Um, and I'd like to thank you all for having me here today. And, and as you said, the, it's for the launch of the Centenary Trail um, to mark the museum's 100th anniversary. Um, and, you know, again, repeating what you said a little bit, <laughs> the, it is about preserving our town's heritage. Um, and, and also, having a museum like this that's run by volunteers, and, and you know, that's a hard, it is really hard to get volunteers to, to, to do anything these days, it seems. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it, it, it reminds us of the enduring spirit of our community. Uh, because without the community, it wouldn't be here. And again, as Andy touched on, uh, founded in 1924 by members of the St. Ives Old Cornwall Society from, from humble beginnings in a cellar uh, in Pudding Bag Lane, which I didn't know, um, to, and moved here to its current house, this museum is a fascinating window to our collective history here in St. Ives. And while a museum is dedicated to the past, we must also look to the future, and I'm very proud to be part of the council who wholeheartedly supports this museum and has managed through Cornwall Council's programme of devolution to once again take ownership of this building and with it securing the foreseeable future of this museum. And a future that I know is in safe hands with Andy and his team here. And this centenary trail is just a number of exhibitions and events they have planned. And as I like to remind my fellow mayors when I see them, our museum is now an award-winning museum after the History of St. Ives Art Exhibition last year won the Exhibition of the Year at the Cold Heritage Awards, which was really good, and I would like to congratulate <laughs> So I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all those who contributed to the success of this museum over the years. From the dedicated volunteers to the generous donors, your support and commitment has been instrumental in shaping the museum we have here today. This place fascinates me and whenever I come here I learn something new about St Ives and I'm looking forward to learning something new again today on our little trail, <laughs> which will be amazing. So, thank you very much thank and you. I look forward to it. Thank you to Johnny and I would like to put on record our appreciation to St Ives Town Council for the support they've given the museum and as Johnny said, for their active interest in recognising and promoting the importance of the town's heritage. Uh, we have three town councils amongst our trustees, and it's really good to know that we have that strong connection, so thank you. Um, a few other thanks, I'm afraid. Um, firstly, thank you all for coming this afternoon during this glorious spring weather. Uh, it's really encouraging to see everybody here, and like Andy, I would like to thank all of our wonderful volunteers uh, who help our visitors enjoy their time here. We are entirely volunteer run, and we simply could not do without them. So also, thank you to those organisations and businesses who are hosting our trail material. Uh, pleased to see several of them in the room, and hopefully the trail may result in some additional footfall for you. Thank you to Nev uh, and the members of the Federation of Old Cornwall Societies and Gorsuch Kernow for being here today. 
and to our St Ives Old Cornwall trustees, uh, Angela, Frank, Margaret Stevens, who devoted many hours of their time to the museum over, the, over a number of years. Uh, I'd like to thank Andy, our present curator, for his leadership and enthusiasm in taking the museum forward. And finally, as Andy has done, thanks to my small centenary working group comprising Dee Brotherton, Nicola Hickford, Jane Billing and Keith White, who has kept me very honest and done great things to make all this happen. So, why are we all here? Well, it's because a hundred years ago, the founders of this museum had the great wisdom to recognise that St Ives was changing rapidly and that without action, the record and the memories of how the town lived and worked would be lost forever. Those founders had four years previously founded the St Ives Old Cornwall Society, the first of which is what is now a thriving federation of societies in Cornwall. And the motto of that organisation is gather up the fragments that are left that nothing be lost. So, of course, creating a museum was a physical manifestation of that motto, and we're very fortunate that they had the foresight to begin that task back in 1924. As a result, we're able to continue to preserve, display and promote such a wide-ranging and valuable collection of artefacts about St Ives' history and heritage, which would otherwise long since have disappeared. So long way may we continue to gather up the fragments and conserve them for future generations. We're here on this date in particular, the 10th of April, as it marks 151 years to the day since the birth of the gentleman you see up there, Robert Morton Nance. One of the most prominent figures in the revival of Cornish, Cornish heritage, language and culture, at the heart of the creation of both the Old Cornwall Movement and St Ives Museum, and a founder and former Grand Bard of Gorsuch Kerner. So, finally, let me just say a little bit about the Centenary Trail. When we were thinking about how to mark our 100th birthday, we felt that rather than just having a static exhibition in the town <coughs> about our history, we should try and take the museum out to the town and involve as many people as possible in our celebrations throughout the year. So the idea of a trail was born with the objective of celebrating our 100 years of existence, promoting the museum and attracting more visitors. Also, bringing people's attention to the extensive and diverse history of the town and the surrounding area. We came up with the idea of featuring, featuring one event which has taken place in every decade since we were founded, together with some broader aspects of our heritage, such as fishing, mining and the lifeboat service. Indeed, there are so many stories and happenings which we could have featured, but we settled on 16, and information about these is displayed at a number of locations around the town. Here's the map. Um, and each display gives a short description of one of these events or heritage aspects, hopefully whets visitors' appetite to learn more, and then asking them to come and see the museum to encourage them to find out more about what, what they can see. Every display has a QR code which will take the visitor to more detailed information about every trail stop on our website, and the trail also features on our digital smartphone guide which uses the Bloomberg Connects app. As well as the trail, we're developing a series of other events to mark the centenary, both to raise money and to continue to promote and celebrate our heritage. We're very grateful for the support of the Tretho Lounge, which has already hosted several fundraisers for us. There will be other talks, presentations and musical events throughout the rest of the year, and we'll be publicising these shortly. We'll be having a small exhibition in the Greta Williams room upstairs at the Cornerstone, the Pass More Edwards building, throughout July, and this will be the venue for a number of other talks on heritage themes. So, in conclusion, we are all very proud of this museum and the role it plays in the town. We look forward to it continuing to prosper and evolve over the next hundred years. So, quite enough from me. I'd like now like to ask our distinguished guest, Neb Meek, President of the Federation of Old Cornwall Societies, to launch the trail. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. I'm sure it's going to be a huge disappointment when I tell you that my speech is going to be the shortest of, uh, <laughs> of the three. But uh, here we go. Uh, good afternoon everyone, I'm Neb Meek, the President of the Federation of Old Cornwall Societies. Um, we have 41 Old Cornwall Societies across the length and breadth of Cornwall and uh, the Federation is the umbrella body for all the lot, so I have the pleasure of visiting them all from St Just to Torpoint and View to Penzance. It's always a great pleasure to join you in Portia, St Ives, since this was the birthplace of the Old Cornwall movement with the formation of St Ives Old Cornwall Society in 1920. The St Ives Old Cornwall Society formed the museum here in 1924, so this is the centenary. The Federation of Old Cornwall Societies itself was formed in 1924, so this is also our centenary as well. 
Today has been, has been mentioned, the 10th of April is the 151st anniversary of the birth of Robert Morton Nance, a towering figure in the history of Cornish culture and founding member of St Ives Old Cornwall Society. He was the second president of our federation and influential in the formation of Gorseth Gurnham and we have the Deputy Grand Bard here with us today. Hi Jennifer, all right? Um, the other thing to mention about um, Robert Morton Nance is I'm somewhat of a, a student of, or a historian of our Old Cornwall movement. Uh, and when I look back at the things that Robert Morton Nance, uh, Morden, wrote in those early years, he was quite modern in his outlook because he was talking about Old Cornwall, but bringing the best bits of Old Cornwall into the present and the future. He was talking about bringing Cornish traditions and using them in the present and the future. So he had quite a forward-looking idea about Cornish culture. He wasn't talking about keeping it pickled in aspect. He was talking about using it for the future. So quite a surprisingly modern outlook on Cornish culture, I think. But with all of those anniversaries, today it feels as if the stars of Cornish culture and of St Ives Museum have truly aligned. A hundred years of building the St Ives Museum is a wonderful achievement, and this centenary town trail is a marvellous way of marking that occasion. This trail is not merely a journey into the past, it is a testament to your commitment to preserving and sharing your heritage with future generations. It is a reminder that our history is not static, but alive and ever-evolving, shaped by the stories we tell and the connections we forge. And without further ado, it gives me great pleasure to launch the St Ives Museum Centenary Tra Town Trail, Miraz, Kerno Bisviken. <laughs> So, with that in mind, we are now formally launched, thanks to everybody. You are very welcome to stay and have a look round at the museum and some of the wonderful things that we have to show you. Um, I was going to propose that we maybe, if you'd be interested, we do a quick walk round, maybe the three closest stops on the trail, which would probably take us about ten minutes. Um, so if anybody would like to do that, I will grab my hat and coat, and then we can do a, a, a slow perambulation. Okay, thank you very much. that tells you more about this particular item. So, um, yeah, that's, that's where we started. Flicking their ash into a tribe of ash